And take a look at this. Local breweries dumping gallons of beer despite a steady flow of customers picking up cans and growlers to go. Of course, this brewery is not the only one facing rough times thanks to COVID-19. Matt Koufax live at Liability Brewery where he caught up with a couple owners today. Matt. Yeah, Cody, a little bit of a different angle that showcases another side of this COVID crisis tonight. Owners uh, like Kathy Horner here at Liability Brewery say that they are trying their best to weather this COVID storm. The South Carolina Brewers Guild says that up to 80% of the state's breweries could shut their doors in the coming months if nothing changes. Now, there's no combating this invisible enemy. They know that, but there's still more to the story. Take a listen. Ounce by ounce, dollar by dollar, going down the tubes for good. Brewing is definitely a very capital intensive business, um, which means we don't typically have a lot of cash on hand in these early years, which is problematic in this, this day and age. Kathy Horner has owned Liability Brewery with her husband since 2018. Because of COVID, she says sales are down 70% from this time last year, despite all the to-go orders. When restaurants and bars were also shuttered, then our distribution um, just ceased. Right now, there are nearly 330 30 kegs or $70,000 worth of beer in their cold room with nowhere to go. Two and a half out of our three revenue streams have been cut off. Will McCameron at Brewery 85 says they haven't had to dump yet, but they're close. You've got loaves of bread on the shelves that for some reason you can't sell. And then they go moldy or they get old, stale. You wouldn't sell those. You wouldn't buy those. He adds, even if things reopen soon, it's not like a switch magically flips. You know, things are obviously not going back to the way they were, so how can we move forward? Both owners say they received stimulus money and think they will weather the storm with heavy losses, but say there's more government can do. Not necessarily talking about the state giving us money, but the state being a little bit more flexible in the alcohol laws. They say two things would help. Increasing ounces per day you can sell to people and allowing home delivery. If, if we get those two, two things, Things that will definitely um, help the bottom line and help us stay in business longer. They're still optimistic that when the time comes and people feel comfortable, they'll be back. I'm really just very excited to, to raise a pint glass with some of our customers and just say, you know, thank you for, for staying with us through this and welcome back to the tap room. And Horner actually has gone a step further, and she is petitioning the governor's office and the DOR right now as we speak, so we'll see how that turns out. Now, there's a few things you can do in case you are wondering how you can help out some of these great local businesses like the one behind me. The first is what you saw some of those people in the story doing. Pick up some of these to-go orders, these growlers, these cans. They're really good, and... They will help out these local businesses. The other things you can do, they have merchandise. There are gift cards that you can purchase uh, in person or online if you are social distancing and isolating. So plenty of options to keep our local businesses afloat. In Greenville, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina, the 10 o'clock news.